What's up, y'all? It's Sean here. And today, we're going to go to school and interview people and ask them what their definition is of peer pressure and how it affects today's society with social media. Let's do it. Tim, where you start? All right, here we are, Waikiki and Cal. All right, so question of the day: uh, What's your definition of peer pressure? Uh, peer pressure would be something. <laughs> Peer pressure would be somebody trying to tell you, like persuade you to do something that you don't want to do, or it could be necessarily something you don't want to do or something that's wrong, but they could also do something. Have you ever been a victim of peer pressure? No. My mom always oh, taught me to just go with what you feel is right. So, you are not a follower? Yeah, absolutely. That's good. How do you think social media affects your pressure today? Sorry. Oh, it's a it's a big thing because all you do is see people's uh, positives and like what's going on. Like they just show you what they want to see. You know, like on Instagram, it's called highlights. So it's only like the positive things that's going on in their life. So it's really like uh, a facade. All right. Appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. Love you, boy. Love you, boy. That's it. All right. So we here at Coach Watts. And so my first question today is, what's your definition of peer pressure? Oh yeah, it's influenced by others, right? Mm -hmm. Influenced by others. All right, and so how do you think today's society has an impact on peer pressure? I think more than ever, right? I mean, you've got, you've got influence from technology, you've got influence in person, you've got influence in all types of areas. So I think it's probably the most that uh, we've seen as a human kind of influence on us to, to make good or bad decisions. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And um, what's your opinion on social media and the impact on um, um, uh, peer pressure? <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting because I think there's the social media world. I think there's the real world. I think people would say and do things in a positive or negative way on social media that they don't do in person as much. And I think that creates for students two different worlds. Um, they act one way here sometimes and one way here. And I think the more that kids grow and understand that both those worlds are the same. If you say something on social media, it's definitely the same as saying it in person. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's that's hard for young kids to understand, but as kids grow, they tend to pick up on that. So, sure. absolutely. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, so we're here with Ms. Keisha. All right, so can you tell me what's your definition of peer pressure? Um, I think peer pressure is allowing someone else to um, push you to do something that you may not want to do, but you feel some sort of obligation towards that person or you feel like you want to fit in so you do whatever you think they would like for you to do. Alright. And what um uh what's the impact on teens and peer pressure in today's society? I think um, peer pressure impacts teens. It can be positive or negative. Um they do have those peers who try to encourage them to do things and they want to do things to make their peers proud of them or happy as well. But also peer pressure with the teens now um it causes them to want to fit in, which means they'll do things that they're not really used to doing or may not do otherwise. So it really impacts things and I think it causes them to not be themselves. So it, it definitely impacts them. And one last question. What does social media, how does social media have an impact on uh, peer pressure in today? Social media has a huge impact on peer pressure because I think it's an easy place for people to be something that they're not. So people can go online and pretend to be something, which causes other people to want to do the same thing, even though that person who is on there showing um, another side of them or something that they're not, other people still want to be that or be better than that. So that pressure is kind of dangerous, I think, but it does happen. And I think that's an issue. Thank you. Hey, man, let's take a break, man. We finna go hoop. Go. Okay. All right. So I'm here with Ms. Gill. 
And the question of the day is, what's your definition of peer pressure? Peer pressure? Ooh. Well, that's when you are with a group of friends and they are going to do something that you don't feel comfortable doing and they're putting a lot of pressure on you to do it and you have to make that decision. So it's peer pressure. Is, is so the consequences of what you do going to be worse than losing a friend? Are we talking about peer pressure? Be quiet. Oh, is peer pressure, is it, <laughs> is it always negative or can it be positive too? It could be positive too. Yeah. I, I, I mean, if you're, uh, if they're doing something, either way, if they're doing something that can benefit somebody or help somebody, but you're kind of like, oh, I don't want to do that, you know, when you know that it could help somebody. Have you ever been peer pressured into doing anything? Oh, yeah. Can you give me a couple? Well, there, you know, when, when I was in high school, growing up in a, North Atlanta in the 70s, there was a lot of food pressure, a lot of drugs there and stuff. So, and I was an athlete, didn't play basketball, and still on. did a lot of stuff like that. But, you know, I, I had to make that decision. And, but thankfully, my friends respected my decisions. Good friends. Good friends. Yeah. That's right. what you got to do. You always got to have a stopper around. It's me. Somebody's just stop. No, I'm gonna okay. stop her. Show me. <laughs> All right, and the last stopper. question is, how do you think social media affects peer pressure in today's society? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's it's so, and we, those of us who have never had the cell phones growing up, and I just can't imagine the things that y'all are faced with, and the things that you see that we never really even knew what was going on. So I think sometimes ignorance is a good thing. All right, that's all. Thanks, Ms. Gibbs. All right.